Hi everyone, Tracy here, and today I'm going to do a series of videos showing you some of the blocks that I have made that can be used by themselves or you can use them as part of a tiered tray or shelf decoration. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do these little blocks with the hearts on them. So your file will cut one heart and then you can, or excuse me, one block, and then you can use this as many times as you want. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is a really quick and easy box to do. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you'll have your heart piece, and then you will have two boxes. And like I said, they're fairly small because when these are done, they're just a little bit over an inch big. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna lay these against each other, and the one that is just a hair bigger is the top of the box, so this piece, and this smaller piece would be the inside of the box. We're gonna just go ahead and fold all those tabs down. The tabs are a little bit small because the box itself is a little bit small. But these are just perfect for your tiered trays. They also make great little boxes for little tiny gifts, um, little candies. You could put a Hershey Kiss in there or a truffle. Um, yeah, they would just make a perfect little gift. Because the tabs are small, I'm not going to glue. I'm going to use my little glue bottle. But then you'll have to hold this for a little bit longer. Just gonna smooth that down and I'm gonna work my way around the box. I'm folding and pressing to get those crisp corners. This does go together really quick. It is such an easy little box, but oh, they have so much. Um, they add so much to your tier trays or your shelves or whatever. And like I said, they make great little gift boxes. So I've got these with a bunch of different things um, for your tier trays. I've got one with snowflakes. I've got one with shamrocks. So many things. Okay, so there's the top of our box. Let's go ahead and do the bottom or the inside. Same thing, we're just gonna fold all those tabs down or away from us. And then glue those corners. And I have people ask me all the time about these little bottles and my glue. So I will tell you about it. The glue that I use is the Scotch Quick Dry. There's one. Um, Scotch Create Tacky Glue Permanent. This is the glue that I like. And these little bottles, I buy them at Amazon because I buy them in the bulk. But they really do last a long time. And they're not very expensive and they have the little tiny um, nose to it. You can also look at your craft store like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, any of those and look where they keep their quilling supplies because that's actually what these are called. They're quilling bottles. And you can buy other types of glue that have that needle nose head on them. And they're great glues, don't get me wrong. They're great great glues, but you're paying for that little tiny, whoops, nose. And I just love this glue. It dries clear. I think it's perfect for your paper projects. And it's not super expensive. It's about, here in Salt Lake, it's about $4 for that bottle that I showed you. Okay, so once your little box is done, we're going to go ahead and slip it together. And it is a tight fit, but it works. So if you wanted to use this as a gift box, I wouldn't glue it together. But if you're going to use it on your, now I can't get it open, there we go. If you're going to use it on your um, displays, I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of glue. I'm not even doing very much. 
so that it can't be pulled apart by little fingers. Okay. Now, because I want this to kind of look like a wood box, I'm gonna go ahead and ink it up. You'll notice that on these I did some inking. So I've just got my makeup sponge and it's well used. And then some old ink. This is from Stampin' Up, but I've had it for years. So I don't even know if they have this color anymore. But you could use just about anything. And I'm just going to kind of ink it up a little bit. I'm going to go a little bit heavier in the corners than I do on the edges. Just because I want this to look like a wood box that I've painted. You could do this in like your craft paper, your round paper, or whatever, and then ink those edges up to give it the, the wood look. Whatever look you like. If you don't like to do the inking, you don't have to do that. You can just leave it and it's going to look just fine. So really, it's a personal taste. And you can tell that my sponge is gross because it's breaking up and leaving little stuff everywhere. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is take this little heart and this time I'm going to actually add it with a pop dot, pop dot or some foam tape. Got my foam tape here. I'm going to cut a little piece off. Pop that on there. And such a fun and simple little box for your trays, your shelf, your mantle, whatever you're going to decorate for the holidays. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. Give me a thumbs up and have a great day.